Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video yesterday regarding unsupported Windows 11 devices that were getting system requirements warnings on the desktop in the bottom right as a watermark system requirements not met. And this was now the second reminder. The first was in the system uh, settings, which I did post a video on as well previously, that Microsoft was testing and would appear as a watermark as mentioned uh, on the desktop, even if your unsupported hardware um, is running Windows 11 without any issues. Now, I will leave a link to that video I posted down below uh, yesterday if you are interested. And now this is just another update video as there are now um, uh, reports that there is a registry hack and change and tweak that you can try if you are running build 22557 and are receiving those system requirements on un system requirements warnings not met um, on unsupported hardware. So to do this we have to head over to the registry. Now I will be showing you this in the stable version. Um, so if you are an in insider um, I won't be able to show you all the exact steps but I'm sure as always by the end of this video that you will be getting the general idea. So to get to the registry the easiest is just to right click on the start uh, menu, go to run and enter reg edit and then click OK and this will take you over to the Windows registry. Now um, what I always suggest before you tamper or fiddle in the registry um, is to export your registry which will be a small little file to a location on your hard drive which you can locate later if anything goes wrong um, as a backup so you can import that later if anything does go wrong and isn't working correctly after you make these changes as if you uh, do something wrong in the registry you can actually uh, crash and wreck your system which is not um, which is not a good idea. Now basically this, this registry hack and tweak um, well, apparently for now, um, apparently is working, but there is also no guarantee that Microsoft won't make a change that restores the warnings at a future point in time. So just be aware of that as well. So um, in the registry, what you have to do is navigate to H key current user, and then you look for the control panel, and then you just expand that. Now, as I mentioned, I'm in the stable version. Now, the next key that you want, and I'm just going to bring up a text, uh, a notepad a text file. And basically, the next key you want is unsupported hardware notification cache. That will um, appear under control panel when you expand uh, that entry. And I haven't got it because I'm in the stable version. And then you, you locate unsupported hardware notification cache. You click on it and then on the right hand side in the right hand pane you will see a key called SV2 and then as it's mentioned there you double click on that and then you change the value to its from its current value to zero and then restart windows and then those warning, warnings should be hidden and have uh, disappeared and will be gone according to reports if you apply this registry hack. Now just to uh, give you an example because um, I don't have that, that key because I am running the stable version as mentioned. I'm just going to um, uh, give you an example on any other key here. I'm going to go to keyboard and that's what you would do on that um, unsupported hardware notification cache and then you double click on the key which will be SV2. Now this is just an example using other keys so please don't go change these keys. This is just an example and then whatever the value is you change that to zero click OK and then restart your device. So just to mention that again for clarity, under H key current user, control panel, you need to find unsupported hardware notification cache. You click on it, I don't have it as mentioned because I'm in the stable version, you will see SV2 here, a key called SV2, double click on it, change that value to zero and then restart Windows and then according to reports uh, that system requirements not met warning, um, the watermark on the desktop and in the system settings will have been hidden and disappeared. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.